Hello, and welcome to this month's Good News Report. Here is where you find out what's happening at the Dayton VA. I'm Public Affairs Officer Rhonda Moore. If you want to stay in the know, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Dayton VA Medical Center. We're also on X as well, at Dayton VA. And we have a YouTube channel for you to watch our videos, Dayton VA Medical Center. And now, here's the good news. <laughs> The total solar eclipse took place this month on April 8th. Many veterans and employees on campus looked up at the sky to see the spectacular event. It's just amazing how powerful it is. What did you think when it turned dark? Uh, I'm waiting for the aliens to come down. <laughs> I really am because it's kind of scary. But it was really phenomenal. Leading up to it was fantastic, and we were all watching with our glasses, but really the few minutes of totality were amazing. Uh, and each one of the veterans I was with was just talking about how this was really kind of a once in a lifetime experience and how very cool and unique it was. Totality lasted close to three minutes. For many, it's something they'll never forget. Two veterans enrolled at the Dayton VA went on a trip they'll never forget. On April 20th, they went on the honor flight to the nation's capital. Marine Corps veteran Robert Bailey and Navy veteran Randy Pierce went on the trip to Washington, D.C. Bailey is legally blind and goes to our low vision clinic. Carla Risti, who works in the clinic, was the guardian for the veterans. They visited the Vietnam Memorial as well as the Marines, Lincoln, World War II, and Korean memorials. They also made a stop at Arlington National Cemetery. The veterans had no idea the trip would be so emotional. They are thankful they got to go on what they call a trip of a lifetime. 100 braille flags given to veterans in our low vision clinic. The daughters of the American Revolution and sons of the American Revolution donated the flags. Each one has the Pledge of Allegiance on it. We thought this would be a good way to do a good service project and honor our veterans. So Thank you so much. On behalf, we have a hundred of these uh, flags. I appreciate that. I'll make sure that our veterans with visual impairment um, are able to get these, whether they come into the clinic or I mail them to them. Um, I'll make sure that they're distributed and Thank we you. greatly appreciate all of your support. The group says it's a small gesture to show support for our veterans. A Dayton VA employee helps one of our blind veterans run a half marathon. Jose Centeno ran in tandem with Veterans Experience Officer Leah McCain. They ran in the Xenia Marathon, tied together with an elastic band, and came in at 2 hours and 22 minutes. Jose is legally blind, but he doesn't let that stop him from running half and full marathons. Dayton VA employees take part in Denim Day. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and Denim Day is a part of that. It's to show support for survivors of sexual violence. Many staff members wore denim on the 24th, and some of them took a group picture in front of the medical center. Any veteran dealing with military sexual trauma, or MST, can call our MST coordinator at 937-268-6511, extension 3495. Coming up in May, our annual Cancer Survivors Day celebration is coming up on May 31st. There will be a walk, symposium, and vendor fair. The events will be from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. on the Dayton VA campus and in Building 305. Survivors, veterans, and the public are welcome to take part. That's the April 2024 edition of the Good News Report. Thanks for watching and seeing the great things that happen every day at the Dayton VA. Veterans, thank you for your service. Enjoy your day, everyone, and moms, enjoy Mother's Day on May 12th.